Leveling a fire at a home. Nine News reporter Jordan Chavez is there right now with the latest. Jordan, that's a big one. Yeah, Kim, so earlier this afternoon around 2.15 is when fire crews with Thornton Police Department say they got that first call and the first crew that arrived on scene, they say that, I'm going to step out of the way and let you see, that a big plume of smoke was coming from a home in the middle of this cul-de-sac where we are out here in Thornton. Now, it was initially reported as a fire in a shed, but the fire department says they actually believed it was probably something much bigger, so they they upped it to a second alarm, called in for help from Thornton Fire or I mean, excuse me, Westminster fire as well as North Metro fire. Now they do tell us that fire spread from a shed to the garage and then to a neighbor's truck and a little bit of that neighbor's carport as well. In total, it took about 15 minutes to extinguish the fire and they say the rest of the house is fine. It was only the part of the garage and then that shed on that one home. Investigators, though, they are still looking for an exact cause. They do say they believe it to be accidental. Now, witnesses that were around the scene, they say they had heard explosions. We see some of the fire engines now leaving the scene. There's still st a few others are still going to stay out here, though, we're told. Uh, those explosions that the witnesses heard, though, we are told that the homeowner's son was cleaning out the shed and there were three to four propane tanks in there and he had been moving those from the shed to the carport garage area and they believe that is what made the noise that neighbors are now hearing. But guys, the good news again is that they do believe this fire accidental. No injuries in this in this situation out here, but we have seen the building inspector come on scene and we hope to learn what they have found out here in the next hour or so, Kim. All the way around, it's overall pretty good news and that's a dense neighborhood as well. Thank you, Jordan.